this outside because he railed that John back wheel it felt fast dude I'm not gonna lie it, it felt fast oh no wait a second it's easy mo come on let's keep going baby <laughs>
And I do have my controller overlay, so hopefully that's been helping out a lot of people. I know a lot of people's been at... Oh, man, that's unfortunate. I thought I actually had that one. But, you know, a lot of people's been asking, like, how are you scrubbing so hard in this? Like, I really hope you see how my analog sticks are choosing. And also, if you guys are wanting my settings, it come out with a settings video for that. It should help you guys out. And the best thing I told you guys to buy right off the bat was that DSX, man. I've turned my gyroscope from 5 all the way to 3. And I have changed inside of that settings video from, I think it was like 70% all the way to 100% direct lean. Um, with the gyroscope change, it allows me to run 100% direct lean like it's nothing, man. So that's another thing I've been able to scrub way harder having that. And it's just been fun, dude. It's been literally so fun. So hope you guys take that with a grain of salt. And yeah. And it's my boy Bryce. <laughs> that boy Bryce. Nice triple. Now this quad is the one I'm talking about. If I downside and triple that, if I downside that triple correctly, I can get that quad pretty okay. And this one too. There we go, a little seat bounce. That's another thing a lot of people need to work on is seat bouncing. I know it's a very hard concept to understand and grasp with like when you need the seat bounce, but this is like seat bouncing. Literally at the highest peak of your jump, you need the seat bounce, which is basically you sitting down in midair. And what's gonna happen is the bike, you're gonna bring the bike up closer to you. You're not gonna go to the bike. And yeah, man, it just helps you get over that little oomph, man. I promise you, dude, it's, it's so worth it. Uh, my biggest thing, what I struggled for, which I kind of feel like I understand now is like knowing when to seat bounce knowing when to scrub and i felt like i ha i felt like i've got a you know on lock right there i don't know if you've seen the bike it comes up closer to me you know yeah uh, but yeah you know my biggest thing and i'm still working on and i feel like i don't fully have it down packed but for the most part i figured out when to seat bounce and when not to when the scrub you know all that good stuff so yeah that's just like simple things that i've been working on to know that like that's where i'm losing a lot of time and that's where i could be gaining a lot of time so you know, it's just all about consistency. I'm not, I'm not looking to be the, you know, the fastest guy in here only because I know I'm not the fastest guy in here. You're still more work for me to do, but consistency pays, especially in a game knowing that net code is everything in Pabobo physics. You want to be as most as consistent as ever, and you know, I'd rather take doubles, double doubles, knowing that I'm making it through here while somebody's trying to make hit triples and not be able to, you know, pull through. So just kind of take that with a grain of salt, especially at the amateur level. You're not, you shouldn't want to try to hit everything a pro's hitting. You know, they're a pro for a reason and you're a novice and or amateur coming up, man. Focus on your lines, focus on being cons and hitting your consistent lines. As you can see, like I know my same lines that I enjoy hitting. And that's kind of like what I've been focusing on. Like even when I went into qualifying, I never tried to change up my my lines that I thought I wasn't gonna wanna do in race in, with my race lines. I knew the alternate lines if I needed to like, you know, kind of evasive maneuver to where it's like say i couldn't do this say i had to single out and i couldn't double that's always a, also a plus to where it's like you know an alternate line inside of a section because if you don't then you're kind of screwed to where you're only a one one trick pony and now you're like well i don't know how i'm going to be able to get through all this so you know it, it's a huge factor of playing you know knowing that you have your main lines but having an alternate escape route line and that's something i've been working on too and it's and you know just, I don't know. It's simple things, but it's like reacting pretty fast. I got to slow down in here. I almost fell. It's about reacting fast. And as you keep continuously riding, as you continuously continue ride, you know, you, you will see change and you will see, you know, yourself build and grow. And like I said, that's, that's what I've been focusing on is getting better over and over and over. I can be taking that inside. I don't know why I'm keep railing all the outside and then not hitting the triple. That's L me, but... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's literally just, you know, my two cents so far, but I feel like I have it for the most part down packed and uh, just now working on the craft of actually sticking into all these ruts. And speaking of ruts, I felt like adding these ruts from Stone Rider was a huge W, um, especially a lot of kids that don't practice with ruts. That's another thing that I practice a lot on. Um, if see right here, alternate line, I got to figure out that I can do this double and double out. You know, alternate lines are huge, but with the ruts being said, um, a lot of kids probably didn't practice being in rough tracks and or, you know, sticking to your lines, which is consistency. And it kind of hindered a lot of kids to say that they don't like the roughness. I personally enjoyed it. Like, I felt like my practice and what I did to get here was me not literally just riding completely soft and straight, you know, non, non rough tracks, you know, it's huge. You know, you, you got to be able to stick in. And I think what I have learned from that is, you know, JV tracks. A lot of people, a lot of people won't agree on me, but JV tracks, 
a lot of the MXGP tracks helped you out a lot if you rode them, being able to connect in a lot of these ruts. Tell me if I'm wrong, man. Go to a JV track, especially like Lombardia and all that, and actually put it on there. Put a little of your road like that. It will help you be able to stick in these ruts. So if he does it again, I feel like I haven't had not, you know, any bad times so far, I should say, of actually being able to stick in any of this. It's just about me slowing the bike down and being able to do it. Now, I know the line here is actually jump over this table so you can get a triple, triple out. Um, unfortunately, I'm not that guy, pal. And the Husqvarna, for some reason, just doesn't give me the oomph, but I know it's really light and nimble. So I'm able to, you know compensate with hitting slower scrubs so yeah man if you guys are out here man do not be afraid to go on like a jv track if you have and especially lombardia being free you can use lombardia to your advantage knowing that you can you know mess with the roughness and be able to get in the groove because it'll only help you 10 times better out here inside of i guess round two maybe round three will be the exact same thing so hope you guys take that with a grain of salt as we come in third place against two pros and a couple amateurs behind me so that's huge, man. Let's go for race number two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so we're here on uh, Moto2. Got some more fast peeps in here. Uh, I think I saw Matty, Matt, uh, Matt from Moto Boys come through. Really good guy, really cool dude. Kind of see him come up in the uh, community with myself when we were both around like 200, 300 uh, subs together. So it's been a long time coming, man. And uh, yeah, we'll got to see, man. Hopefully we get some good racing going here. Get active. Gate will drop. I am very on the edge of whether I like 1452 or 1351 more, but I really just have to figure it out here. Which I got a pretty good start. Way to play patient. I was surprised I even went for that triple. I kind of wasn't even focusing. I was just like looking at everybody go down, which is very weird. And I over jumped this one. Next time, I'm gonna have to, you know, seat bounce correctly and we'll be fine. But up here with the big boys today, as clean does hit the back of Junk Town. It'd be nice and simple in here. I was messing up a lot during practice, only because I felt like I wasn't really focusing. I was talking to some teammates, kind of figuring out some new setup stuff, which would be better. Glad EJ does not. Oh, my bad, my bad. Got to be careful with that. Looks like EJ's all kind of all over the place. So we're going to have to watch and see what's going to happen here. Might be getting pass blocked, so never mind. He's going to play his line pretty good. W to EJ. Always like a good rider like that. Not looking to take me out. I will take this from him, though. Felt like I deserve that one. Just had this freaking actual good line on it, so. Glad that he respected it. Scrubbed the crap out of that as Junker goes for the big boy. Does get a case in there. I'm able to jump over this. I want to jump over this table, but I just don't think I'm ready for it. Back wheel. Let's get some pretty good speed. I am going to take this outside since he's up and close and personal there. Should be able to scrub pretty good. Side by side in the middle of the air. Bad kind of entry for myself, but hey, this is what it's all about. Situational awareness, especially riding with these 450s. They do have kind of that, you know, they do have the leverage on me, so I got to give them, you know, kind of that, you know, like, hey, you know what? You go ahead before me because you are you are moving quicker than I am. So go and get that triple in. Slow down for the single catch up in this rut. So, yeah, I mean, I'm still battling with them. So it's almost like I am keeping up some really good time and speed at the moment. Looks like I do have cut. Do I have cuts? What the chicken bone? I don't know where I could have got cuts from. Wow, EJ's going for those lines. Gotta respect it. Gotta respect the hustle from the homie. Do another scrub there. Keeping it nice and low. I'm staying in the pack with two 450s, so... That's, dang, that was the one I needed to slow down just a little bit more. I was willing to take that triple out, but that's okay. Right on his backbone. Now, this is where I kind of, like, you know, just slow up, follow up. No need to get too fast. I am in third place. They both have a bad run through the whoops, kind of getting to each other. Junktown Rider did have a kind of, you know, part to play in that, you know, ball to EJ. So I'm going to go ahead and take this outside again. I'm going to go ahead and double. See, apparently I rode the top of that berm and it kind of messed me up. So got to have to hit that right. And that's also, see, situational awareness. I just got to know, like, if I would have sent that, it probably would have fell. Just play off this guy right now. I'm kind of in the back burner. I feel like I am getting way faster than him and staying lower. So just let him keep making these mistakes. Catch up in this rut with him. 
Scrub. Jump over. Nice, easy scrub. Another scrub. There we go. Connect up in that, John. I'm going to hit another scrub. Just staying nice and low. This right here is going to matter. Seat bounce. Triple over. And we're right back in there, baby. Talk to me. Talk to me nicely. When I pull up, I'm stunting. I'm talking spicy. No Da Vinci and playing. Oh, this so nicely. Yeah, once again, man, another huge shout out for just HSM seeing something in me. I do appreciate them a lot. Um, I have been working on my craft. And as you can see it now, man, it's just simple things like as me talking and saying it out loud. It just goes to show like I, I want it. I'm hungry for it, dude. I'm hungry for it. And I felt like, you know, I'm just what, what can I do to stand out amongst my peers? What can I do to just show that, you know, I want I want I, I'm putting in the effort now. I might I might. I might be able to talk out my A here and, you know, say all this, but it, it doesn't matter until the, that gate drops for the main, man, and really where it's at, you know, being able to qualify. So this is just easy, you know, practice and prep against a couple good fast riders, 450s at that. Blue flag, does he respect it? We're going to have to check it out. He's messing up himself. Another guy goes down, goes over the top of my hizzy. I'm just going to have to respect it, let it happen. Ash is actually a pretty fast rider. You can see how much momentum he's keeping. I might have to change to that outside line. That didn't look bad. He kept up a lot of speed. Might be something I'm missing. But he does go down. Hopefully, he doesn't take me out. Holy cow. Ladies and gentlemen. Last lap cheese is coming to effect. Now, every time I say last lap cheese, I do tend to put myself more in a <laughs> right here seat bounce see that's a seat bounce i wasn't gonna really make it unless i seat bounce and it gave me a fighting chance if i win the seat bounce i would have definitely cased i would have been so much lower than i thought i was stand up just a bit scrub back for wheel i hope anybody that's watching this and you actually stuck this long you know kind of is taking something off of like my riding style right now this is literally me practicing and how i'm putting in the effort so hopefully you guys see it man hopefully you guys are looking at my controller overlay as well i'm trying to show you the best way of how i scrub so i'm probably not the best scrubber but it's something it's a start i want to see if i could take this outside because he railed that john back wheel it felt fast dude i'm not gonna lie it, it felt fast oh no wait a second it's easy mo come on let's keep going baby <laughs> let's keep going baby you can't make this up dude Gotta love it. Gotta appreciate it. Now, this is Last Lap Cheese. He might go for a takeout here. I'm just going to play it safe. Might get me on corner speed. Does not get me. Got me by cuts. Where'd I get cuts from, man? Oh, where I get cuts? No. <laughs> GG. Oh.